So this one time I'm on set and uh, we're shooting as per usual. So I go in and I change into this wardrobe. The lady whose clothes are borrowed from mm. now comes and says, I want a picture. I'm like, but I'm, I'm busy. I can't give you a picture. I'm doing my makeup. She's like, we are home. I didn't know oh that. Oh my goodness. No, I'm just there to act. I didn't know that. Oh my goodness. I'm like, what? Okay. <laughs> See that reaction I was talking about? Mm. Okay, yeah, I feel like I need I have better clothes. You know, I'm going to keep her. Oh, sang funugyo. And then she gets upset and then she pushes me. It's crazy that the answers nobody had I found when searching for myself. Let's toast to victory. Pick up your glass, show me love for once. Let's Welcome to Chopping It with Buddha T. I am the Lord of the entire, Lord of the every, Lord of the jig, Lord of the fit, Lord of the crisp, Lord of the mummies. Lord of the light skin, baby daddies. Uh, Lord of the bring the fire actresses to the show. Yes. Lord of... Um, the earth. Lord of the earth, yes. Lord of the genesis. The Peace. Lord love, of the peace. Prosperity, abundance. Lord of the... <laughs> Lord of the light. <laughs> In her Mvana fits, let's get it! <laughs> what the? Oh! Yes, this is how we welcome you. Oh, nice, yes. I like it. It's like you're a star and it's like... Yes, psh. just emerging from the smoke, I like it. You didn't like the lot of the Lungel. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was actually, no. it wasn't connected. It wasn't supposed to be one sentence, but, but it came out as... But you I know. I ran out of loads of... Oh. I liked yours, and then I just wanted to close it, and With then me. I introduced. <laughs> yes, that works. Also, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm well. Uh, both of us are nervous. Yes. Are you still nervous? Yes, very. Because mm, first podcast. Yes, yes. Because <sighs> you avoid them. Well, the ones that I've been getting invited to, no shade, ish. It's almost like I just don't want to be on that platform because I know the outcome. What platform is this? I will play in your show, but like it's just like, ish. Basically, twist my gum, I'm not singing. You be being funu good, you know. It's just I'm like, no ways. Oh, mm. oh yeah, you have any idea? <laughs> what? We don't need. Don't take it there. Uh, eh. Hey, um, hey. Yeah. I'm just getting warmed up for the chap. I'm getting hey, man. Don't take it there. Bring it back. I'm getting warmed up. Okay. I mean, I understand that. So that means you trust me to not. Should I not? You're here already. It's too late. Even if you can't. I can, no, I can change my mind. What do you mean? I feel like my shade game doesn't fit them. Vanna fit lady. So you're nervous. I must take it off, ne? Look her in the eye. <laughs> yeah. I need to look you in your soul. Oh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> my guy, you must see if you can still peep me there because I already have just switched my position. Yeah. <clears throat> she. How are you? Did you tell me? I'm good. I'm good. Mm -hmm. I'm good. How are you? I'm well. Like, when we came in, you brought the... The what? What do you call it? That vibe. Is it spiritual? Are you in a spiritual vibe? Also, I have to say that you're lying to my audience right Why? now. Why? About with, what? With this image. What do you mean? This is not how she came here. I have to say this because I'm honest with my people. You came here looking very yes. different. Yes, because we are going to see So you get a brief. Back to But you called. looked how you, oh, you kind of always look. But I don't look like that anymore. That's not my image anymore. This mm -hmm. is my image. What happened? Let's talk about your image. Let's start right there. I don't know. I just I just started feeling like uh, maybe I should be modest mm. and like just be connected to myself. And, you know, I, I put up a lot of booty pictures and stuff like that. And I was like, mm. oh. <laughs> I used to. <laughs> so I'm just like, mm -mm, no, this is Nyakula, you know. Yeah, the words you used where you don't want to be a dad anymore. I didn't say that. I, I never said that. 
I need. Ha. She did. I need. She did say uh, that. Okay, ngo ba ngel tana ng sanganyel. No, but we just like the truth, <laughs> so we just have to say. I was never thought, but like, yeah. I but think did you feel cool, like they, yeah. that's how they were receiving you from the booty pages? I felt like it didn't come with the respect that I knew I deserved. Mm. And it would be easy for people to just overlook anything and just focus on that. And uh, and all of those things. And I was like, mm. oh. So when did that hit you? Because, okay, what I'm trying to understand is, yeah. <clears throat> what, if not that, what did you think the booty pics would mean? Celebrating myself. It was just, um, you know, enjoying my body, being free. Um, and I just liked it. You liked the... I, um, yeah, I just liked it. I did. The booty? I do. I, st- I love it. Now I actually love it. That's why I'm hiding it, you know, like, yeah. So what, did you, what do you call what you felt for it before? Because now you love it. It sounds like love yeah. if you protect it. Yeah. And before you kind of... No, I liked Just it. Just let us see it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my mom. I follow you, so oh, it's like, I see it. I'm there also. Yo. <clears throat> but I scrolled past. I'm always just like, because I have respect for you. Oh, wow. Look at you switching up, okay. Um, yeah, I think I really, I liked it, but I wasn't, I wasn't connected to myself. You know, mm. I wasn't, I wasn't. I wasn't connected to myself, basically, and I was just doing things because I'm in the space and I can and I look good and I feel good, but I never really got to sit down with myself and understand how I want to be perceived, how mm. I want my future husband to like be Ish. proud of me and all of that. Yeah, but also, I had to, I, I did it for me though. I'm not saying so mm. it's fine. So no more booty pics. I can't say no more. I mean, the booty is there. So as much the as... The booty is there. <laughs> <sighs> so <laughs> I might get opportunities if it's like um underwear campaign and, and stuff like that. But according to my recreational photo shoots, <clears throat> I, I'm so full of and I unless there's like a reason or a purpose for me to do that. Was that always your thing? It's like from teenage childhood? In. The booty. Yes. Well, the whole thing. Yeah, I just engaging in modeling when I started out, but njongo munto kulele mshangi ni. I was always proud of my body, you know. We as mshangi ni kwa ganja, so I've always I didn't see anything wrong, you know, with my booty showing because we we did it all the time. It was fine, you know. Even the boobies we show when we go there, so I didn't see it as a big deal until I understand that if I'm not doing it for culture now, like I said, manga inzeli inte ne sindo irisi ne sindo. Then why am I doing it? Yeah. Yeah, but I saw a value layer. Because it makes you kind of also come across as, what you were the short skirt girl in high school. No, I wasn't actually. You weren't the. No, no, I wasn't. With the, you know, those type of girls. She looks like she was. How do I describe those girls? I can, I only have the short skirt, but it's like, you look like you sat at the back also. Me? Mm. Ah, eh. I mean, I, I sat at the front, ngang funda, because my parents were very strict. So, ngang funda, ngang alove skole, ni, like, nje, I never got into trouble. Mm. Like, mga ham na house party. I know you know that because you've invited me before to one of your parties, and I was like, ah. And you said no. Okay. Yeah. Konjo, what was that? The guari way, ne? Yes, the guari, yes. How? Yeah, born just so. What? <laughs> What is what? What the hell? Why is he home? <laughs> because, because that's how it comes across to you in your mind. What? Because what? Because it's not me. Mm. I can go there and have fun, but I'll probably want to leave in thirty minutes. You know, it's getting yeah, truly crowded. I just want to be quiet and not talk mm. to people. Damn. So, not your. Ish. What's more your style then? My style. Yeah. Uh, as ooh. far as having fun. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love that question. Do you know the TikTok? No. Oh, I, I have think. a job now. I can't. <laughs> oh, I. 
Ah, we're back. Okay, so I don't have a no, job. You, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just came from hustling. Yes. Oh. Respectfully. Yeah, so, okay, so the sound goes like, oh my God, I love that question. I think, and then she answers. Ish, but now we So, reverse. Anyway, mm. so for me, it's spending time with nature and animals. Mm. I also enjoy painting, do a lot of yoga. Like, I'm just, you'll find me in nature, basically. Mm. I love it there. I love how the wind just blows through the trees. And it's it's almost like you can hear what the wind is trying to communicate to you. And there's a mm. sense of peace and grounding. And it's good to escape from all that noise once in a while. But right. I find that I'm most comfortable when I'm there. So, and do that and then come back into the world. But then... I realize, Guti, if I go to a party, I'm just drained when I come back home. You know, I'm I'm overwhelmed True. in the anxiety. But mm. if I go and spend time with the horse, I come back feeling alive. Mm. You know, I love laying on the grass. I love being in water. It just ignites me and it makes me feel so good and so, so at peace. Mm. Yeah. Where did you grow up? Where are you in from? Lady Smith. In Nambiti. Oh, yes. 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 Very one fifty yes. Yeah, because that's why you have real Zulu. Like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we speak Zulu at home. We speak Zulu. You can't talk to my dad in English. Well, I, I do now. I'm going to say, 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 Daddy, can I please how? Yeah, you know, but he still at the same time wanted us to be educated, <clears throat> which was cool. But mm. he really wanted us to remain grounded in our culture and tradition and not forget mm. who we are. That's dope. So when did you come this side? 2006. 2006, I think, yeah. Mm. Mm. I was very young. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, but like the rest of your... I'd say like that. Your, what do you call it? Your becoming. Yes, yes. But you need the roots to become. Of course. And my roots are there. Mm. Having already been rooted is very, that helps. Yes, yeah. yes. Because now I've come across people who will be like, how do you still have this Zulu? That's because I've been around this side for like uh, 15 years. I was like, oh, I grew up my whole life. Mm. Let's say, like, where's my Zulu going to go? Yeah. Some people mm. lose it though, but we can't judge them. We can't? No. You need to allow people to be what they want whenever they want to be that. As much as you see what's best for them. (laughs) (laughs) I'm so done with you. In my mind, I'm busy judging them. I'm just saying, I'm saying all the things I would say in my mind. Sorry, but give us the... You know, as much as you want what's best for them and you can see and they can't see it, but you can't force them because it's their journey. You need to allow them and just hope and support them. And eventually, you know, they'll be better people. You see? Hey. Your better people is a bit strict. We make it sound like we're saying they're not good people. But I, no, I, I hear what you're saying. I, of course, I hear what you're saying. Huh? It's yeah, just, you know... <laughs> Knowing <laughs> <laughs> that people are sensitive, so I can imagine how uh, a conversation like that would come across. That's like, true. <clears throat> because people might feel attacked. Is how mm. it's so. mm. But I always, I always did wonder that, like, because obviously my first uh, experience of you is a hostel. Yes. Yeah, and then I then kind of had the idea that you are from Joburg. So I was confused. I was like, oh. so how did you pull off the KZN girl so yeah. well? And okay. It so, was pretty fun actually doing that because most people said I was from Durban and I'm not. Mm. And most people thought I was from Joburg. So I had both cities like fighting off of me. Rooting for you then? Yes. Until I had to speak the truth. Because actually, I'm from Lady Smith. Which is also... Black Diamond, no? Yes. They from out there, no? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who else is? It's just y'all. Cici? Y'all are the stars. Cece's from Lady Smith? Yes. Oh, shit. That's fire. Yeah. Shout out to Cece. Okay. Yeah. We do have a... Na ma e lista. Ay, bo la lela. Yasin, isn't just a call. Yeah, she is Lady Smith. Yeah, o titi. Nam jung peg and she. How nga zo ting pete in la? In the Mvana fit. You don't know. So how did you become an actress? 
I went for an audition with my friend. <clears throat> I remember I was in school and, you know, during exam times and in Zuluto sometimes, you're just studying and she's like, yo, there's an audition. I'm like, oh, okay. She's like, do you want to go? And so, okay, no, I asam, velang fun genjin, asam, and then we go to the audition, it's great. We go mm. to the audition and then she needed somebody to run with, like how I had to wait today because I didn't have someone to help me. Oh, yes. Yeah, so mm. then I helped her and I just got the role and she didn't. So that's how I started and I pursued it. And Ekaya, they were not shocked because they've yeah. always supported everything that we wanted to do. So they were like, oh, okay. I said, Funilo. Oh, I go right. I go long. Send and Jan. Sick pedal Zen. You know, so it's always been that. That's dope. And then yeah, but it's been hard. So you weren't like chasing it or having no. grew up dreaming of like you didn't grew, grow up looking up to Sarafina. And, no, like, <laughs> I actually liked Jet Li. That's fine. Okay. Actually, love Jet Li. Oh my gosh! Imagine if I meet him. That'd yes, so you did cool. claim to be a tomboy at some point. <sighs> <laughs> See how I've changed? That tomboy claim is safe. See how I've changed? Yeah. Can yeah, I... you have become way yeah. more girly. Girly than I was. Mm. Like, life is so beautiful. You get to be anything whenever you want to be. Mm. Like, True. Yes. The so evolution nice. of a human is mm. is a nice journey. So, you were a tomboy, loved Jed Lee as a kid? Yes. Loved yes. acting also or not so much? Not, I don't even, I think Kulelem Nambiti, as my Bugu TV, don't laugh at me. Oh gosh. I'm like an hour say, away from you. I know what I'm about to say happens in my brain. Okay. Okay, so Ukbugalu TV, when I saw, you see the Nelson Mandela Bridge? Mm. I really didn't think it existed in real life. I thought it was just a TV thing. Yeah. Like, like, I felt like that when I was in Cape Town. <laughs> You know? When you see it on TV. Yeah, yeah. yeah. on Generations. On Generations, yeah. Cosportong there, yeah. I never thought it existed, so... Oh, yeah, you don't think that that's a real place? Yeah, yes. yes. No. <laughs> okay, I hear I you. never thought those people were... At, I kind of felt like they were leaving Konalapa TV. My parents in hey. the, inside the box. He's yeah. like, it's not mang again. Yabo, what if yabo chetli we are puma zelagi mang fundi say yabo all those things. So that's what I thought. So I becoming never... an actress wasn't a real thing. Like, no. So it literally just happened because of that audition with your friend. Yes, I really wow. loved modeling. I wanted to be a model. Oh yes. Yes, I did beauty contests when I was young. I was like, fuck this. Do you have the, respectfully, I don't know how this question is going to sound, do you have the model body? No, that's why I couldn't do right? it. Right? Yes. I assume that's why they feel yeah. like, because like, your, your body is loud. It's like, <sighs> yeah. oh, yeah. no, it's, that's the <laughs> safest way to say it. Okay. Yeah, I was just. Without sexualizing. Okay, I appreciate yeah, it's that. loud is like, you know. Okay. Vague. I like your choice of words. Your body's loud. <laughs> yeah, it's like you catch the attention. You said it yourself when you were, you know, doing the booty pics. You knew. You know, that's I wanted to model that time. That's what I really wanted to do. That's yeah. Jay, that's what I wanted, you know. But if in like food, I'm going to go And Baba Guja, since a kid. <laughs> that also sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I here? Oh my goodness. I'm talking about the pages. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So what was the first role? What was that? The thing? And how did your friend feel? We, we just never, we actually never spoke about it. Mm. Um, we just drifted apart from school. And Angmas Nugutupi, like it's almost like we both knew, we would see this is the end of it, you yeah. know. Even though, Mina Bengyen Sanjay, you know, Bengyen Sanjay, but mm. that was the end of it. Do you think she felt away? But did she really want it? Oh, she's the one who said you guys must go. Now you're questioning her. Imagine. Because I also went, but I, it's not what I really wanted. Because we were just passing time. We were kids. We have opportunities. But if she really, really wanted it, 
Why are you doing this? I'm not going to do it. Oh, yeah, get it now. Because you go do more auditions. You yeah, mean. like, yeah, yeah. try. Because I always get rejected all the time. People see you on TV and they think you just walk in and say, Hi, I look at her. No, you go to like 50 auditions and you only land that one role. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's, it's hard. So what was that first role? Lay up at Castell and Lab? So I did, I played, what was... Yo, I even forgot. There was a show which was going to play on SAPC One called mm -hmm. Uselwa. So that's the role that I got. But I forgot. I forgot the name of um, the character. Mm, it's fine. I forgot the name mm. of the character. It was a long time ago. Uselwa, though. Eh, and when? then, unfortunately, it didn't... Eh. Oh, yeah, but... but you have to put Hello. it on speaker. Hi. Sure. Thank you. Hi. 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 So what, oh. what story were you telling me before that? Yes, Usela. So it didn't... Mm. Uh, oh, it didn't air? It didn't mm. air. Okay. And then I met Ospe, Ospe Silevazi, Cho and oh, Reineke, yes. and U Andile Gumbi. Sadly passed away Andile. a few years back. Andile. Okay. In Israel, who was performing on stage and he got a heart attack. Um, what? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Goodness. It was not nice. Doesn't sound like... Yeah. Shame. So I met them and they told me, you know what, to like continue in this thing, you're going to need an agent and stuff like that. So they wanted to hook me up with my agent now. Mm. I go, I meet this guy. It's like, oh, you're so pretty, but okay. Yeah, you're just pretty. What? I promise you. But rootless. But what? rootless. Wait, like, oh, you're is this so pretty. after you had acted? What did you do? So we acted on that thing, right? But oh, I yeah. Lang. Okay. Yes. So now it's almost like I'm back to square one. I'm, I didn't do anything. Nishui agent, my is just pretty. Because I met him at SABC. I'm oh, like, okay. oh, I'm looking for an agent. It's like, oh, you're pretty. I'm like, yeah. And I was very jolly, you know. Mm. It's like, oh, so you want to be in the industry? No, I'm going to It's like, okay, let's have a meeting. And then we meet again. And then it's like, you're really pretty, but... <laughs> Did you study for this thing? Like, what's what's the vibe? No, I didn't study for it. But give me give me a shot. Mm. Like, put me in, coach. I promise you. Like, <laughs> put I'll me do in, coach. It. And then, got the Hostella audition. I went in and I landed the role. How did you get that audition? Mm. Okay, I guess the agent. Cause so the agent signs you. Yeah. No, before he signs me, they're looking for a Zulu girl, a fresh face. The brief specifically says a fresh face, new face, yeah, new face. Yes. You know, Zulu girl. And then he's like, "Go try this out." I mean, I mean, I mean, but I went and I got in, and I auditioned. And it was so nice because before you know all this industry politics of holding the mic like this and doing this you're just so free you perform mm. in a comfortable way you know and they love that so I did that and I got it and it was big it was so nice that's yeah. so fire because I think that's another thing that made it so refreshing mm. like you were a new face like yeah. a brand new face it was like oh wow yeah and they gave catchy. us but also just all the faces on that show were new, ne? Yeah, almost all the faces, eh? Yeah. Oh, it was so nice. Almost all the faces. That was a super refreshing show, actually. Mm. Big show. You guys did, what, two seasons, ne? I, I was only on one season. Oh, they killed you. I was so mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they killed me. Why did you agree to being killed? Hi, bro. I didn't have a say. Yo, but we were, like, watching you. But then the... the Plot needed to thicken. They knew we were watching you. And they killed me. <laughs> I was like, why me? I was like, why? And you died like, what, seven episodes in or something? Eight? Nine. I think nine. Horrible. It's dark, my last Kubek, eh? So, and then yeah. Kubek, there was season two and season three. Um, yeah. I think I remember watching season two. Is it season two that's... I was dead, I was... No, I, okay. Am I allowed to say, I shouldn't say Don't anything. say, don't yeah. say it. I still, I still need to work. <laughs> yeah, Jeez. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So then 
you got into an accident? Yes. Yes. How did that happen? I was oh, just this is after a hostel, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Man, got to mm. film a hostel, so I fly back to Joburg, and then I do another show. <clears throat> Oh, you guys were actually filming it in KZN? Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Fine. Oh, yeah, I'm a hostel. Hey. Are we at Kona? No, I can't. Like, this is where season two was shot. Oh. Yeah, so they that's filmed season two. Down yeah. Bit. Yeah, they filmed, you know. So, uh, oh, yes. Oh, sad news. <clears throat> so I got into an accident. Mm. <laughs> Your face. What about it? So I got into an accident. <laughs> Mang Buya. <laughs> Mang Buya. And, um, I remember when I had the accident, actually. Um, mm. I think it was around three oh, on a Thursday. Yeah, I'm tired. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm tired. Yeah. Yes. Career so, woman. Sorry. You know, yes. so cut me some slack. So then I call her Uber. Immediately when I got inside, a car comes crashing into okay, our Okay, so we're Uber. Oh. <laughs> yes. <What? laughs> Damn, that's so crazy. That's a shy sorry Uber. It happens. I guess, yeah. I guess it happens in any car, but that's like whole. And it was just standing, imagine. Whose fault was it? It was the other guys. So there were two drunk guys driving a red Topolo. Of course, Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. And it was yes. new. <laughs> That was the I got I got a plate. No, it's still. I think it had. I didn't see it properly, but mm. I I knew it was a it was a new car. Mm. So these people by Shaisa, the next thing, I'm out. You know, and man, just better like you just no man. It's just a minor thing. You know, when you guys hit me up, I'm like, yeah, 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 I can work. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely work. <laughs> that time I can't even walk. I legit can't even walk. Like I'm down and I'm out. And I remember thinking to myself. I'll never go back to performing mm. or I'll never be normal. You know, like I, this is it. How bad was it? It was bad. It was, it was bad. Sorry. It was, it was bad. It was a C2 um, spine fracture, um, C5, C7, mm. whiplash, and my hip was also a bit dislocated as well. So how did they hit you? Like... So, yeah, but myself, I'm going to go to the house. So, I'm going to go to the So, I went forward and I came back with the seat and I broke my neck and my spine. So, that was it. And I was there like, oh my the goodness. The whole time, you know. What was special? No, I was up, but I was oh. not fine. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was just, I was up, but I was not up. Damn. Yeah, so. Yeah, because I think. When we met, you were still wearing... Yeah. A, yeah. Yeah, it's like a movie. What, the actual accident scene? The actual or? thing, even the recovery. Cause the, the recovery, recovery was like... <laughs> when you were telling me about the recovery, I was like, yo, this is serious. Yeah, that's when... But Mina, it, it <clears throat> caught me. The whole thing only got to me after. When I started being normal again. Which, shit, I'm fucked. But during the whole time, I was just operating in... I don't know what to call it, in shock... Mm. I just thought everything was going to be fine. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, 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 don't worry, Just don't ready cry. to get back to normal. Yeah, like, oh my gosh, they're calling me for an addition. Yes, I'm coming. My mom is like, do you really have some? I'm like, yeah, 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 no, I'm going to be fine. So now I'm in a wheelchair. I'm being pushed to the bomb offices. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, because wow. I just really wanted to get back to the game, you yeah. know. And then... Uh, and you just got hot also. It's like, I'm yo, hot. You just, yeah, you were hot, hot. Like, so I'm just there like, fuck. Because the spy thing would have made perfect sense. It, oh. That would have made perfect sense. Because that was my dream job. I was like, of oh, man, go spy. This is brilliant. This is awesome. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -mm. No. How did the that physio. feel, like, challenge-wise? Did, like, did it feel like a personal attack? Did you feel like, oh, why me? It did. Mm. And I also, um, I had a lot of survivor's guilt as well. Like, why did I not die? You know, if I was My unconscious goodness. for some time and I was... Because it's so nice when you're unconscious, right? It's almost like you don't exist. Mm. You're aware of something, but you're not really sure what it is. It's almost like you don't even know how you look like. You yeah, know? so you just have your conscience. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, but why did I not just die then? You know, why am I here to struggle? Because now 
I can't even wash myself. I can't. Oh, you couldn't even wash yourself. Like, I'm just there like this the whole time because I broke my seat too. So this whole part doesn't work. I can only talk. But my talking, I have to be like, my name is. And I'm just like. <sighs> oh, that is that sounds so scary. It is. Now that I'm talking about it, like it sounds like a movie that I watched. What I ends up like mean. Plus, what was so rising? I think you're right, but I'm still going for physio. You're still doing physio. Imagine, I'm so over it. Oh yes, you told me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. When I I feel so in. Yes, yes. Okay, fine. I'll say it. Today is my physio day. So I squeezed you guys in because I had physio. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So then I, I, I have to go. The scary realization of the fact that you're seriously hurt. I've never been seriously hurt, but my, I saw my sister got into a car accident. Also, oh. it's probably five, six years ago now, mm. and she like broke her leg and yeah, well, broke her wrist, and so just seeing somebody in that condition mm. is like. It's it's not really nice. Ugly man, and is actually like if I could die without. I'd yeah, be, yeah. Please, Lord, thank you. <laughs> like just no breaking anything or like <laughs> and killing anybody. If I can die without ever having to kill, to kill somebody, yeah. I don't think you will. I don't. I know I won't. <clears throat> That's good. That's good. Yeah, I won't. I won't ever have to kill anybody. Oh yeah, so then I had to do a lot of physio. So now I'm in an outer para doing my MRI because I have to do like an operation. My parents are saying no, she's young, her bones are gonna be fine. It's just a back and forth, and those years were just so weird. Even when I got back to working, I wasn't fit, but mm. I was physically able. So the productions were just very delicate, and that's when I was shooting the series I did, Umzaluam. Mm. They were just so delicate and, you know, and then I fall on set. Back to square one. So now I'm down at the hospital for six days. What, fell and brought injuries back? Yeah, so I had been working so hard. Mm. So my spine was not aligned properly. So it impinges a nerve and then my body goes straight into a stroke. So now I've got a minor stroke and I'm my whole side at is work. not working. Yes! So now... <laughs> Were you embarrassed having a stroke at work? Come on, I wasn't. Show a stroke. I'm seven, seven. I wasn't. I was. I was. I was in such a a state where I feel like, when is this gonna end? Mm. Like it's especially because now you're back at work. You thought you were done with it. <sighs> What's it behind you? Okay, I've got a show now. You know. Mm. Okay, they haven't forgotten about me. This is good. You know. Mm. Boom, okay. Oh. So I'm, Six days in the hospital. Now I'm doing physio again. Now I've got neuro now. Because I wasn't really focusing on the neuro. Now I've got neuro now. I have to do this to a ball. Mm. And I have to read like I don't know how to read. Like, come on. But I had to do it. And then, yeah. So it's been an ongoing journey. Um, Very, very painful. But I'm grateful. Jokes mm. aside, I'm grateful that it happened. It taught me a lot of things. And I feel like it protected me from a whole lot of things I would have done, especially at that peak. Yeah. And I was yeah. young. Yeah. Like, because I didn't even know myself that well before. So it mm. afforded me the yeah, opportunity. Yeah, you only stop being a thought now. <laughs> <laughs> today. <laughs> Not today. No. no, I've always been. You know. <laughs> so, so it would have been serious. It would have been. I feel like I'm mm. having a sharp I left it and mm. I wouldn't be here, I think. That's unfortunate that sometimes that's what it takes mm. for God to be able to sit us down and to be able to protect us. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like sometimes yeah. it, it's, he takes that drastic a measure to say, hey, actually, yeah. let and me. If one thing that I think, not one, a couple of things that I think I learned was endurance. Mm-hmm. If the weather's like this, then my spine is acting up. But that time, you know, I had to sit it through and do it. And also wearing that neck brace, because mm. I couldn't look or turn, it forced me to look forward the whole time. Mm. So now I take that and I implement it in my life as a whole. But you know what? It's almost like silencing the noise and stop trying to compete with people that are living their own lives. I just, just mm. focus on moving forward and just not living in the past. Not, so I learned a lot of things from it. Mm. Yeah. That's so dope. Like, 
it's crazy that things like that you come back with mm. valuable things that then change your life forever. Yes. So is that what started the change in you that ended up triggering today eventually? I had to, yes. Because mm. uh, remember when you go something that traumatic, you're also not okay mentally. Mm. So I needed, I remember going for therapy. I didn't even need the therapy, but I couldn't sleep because I was having uh, my dreams, uh, my accident. So it was just a lot. So they're forcing me, they're booking me. And then in order for me to be better, I needed to really like focus on my mental as well. Yeah, yeah. And definitely. that journey, I started practicing mindfulness, mm. moving with intention, knowing what is it that I want. If you say something I don't like today, I can't now react the way I would have reacted before. Mm. Now I can digest it and understand that you're probably projecting. Yeah. Before, I was so kibelan. Imagine, oh. like it would have been proper, you know? <laughs> so <give me> <laughs> oh, guys, come on. <laughs> it's getting hectic. Oh, Have you ever fought on set? No, not on set. She looks oh. like a fight on set type, yeah? Oh, okay. No, no. No? It, uh, she has no. some feistiness. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, no. What I would do is walk. Okay. What I would do is walk. If the treatment is not fine, I'm going home. Has ever, anyone ever attacked you on set? Yes. Oh. Okay. I have been attacked. For what? For a picture. Huh? You see those... Because <sighs> I should have learned to be still from the accident. But no, it's almost mm. like you have um, a means of survival, like a surviving mode. You would see, I need the next job, I need the next job. So you end mm. up taking jobs that will put you in a situation where you even get attacked. Mm. So this one time I'm on set and uh, we're shooting as per usual. So I go in and I change into this wardrobe. The lady whose clothes are borrowed from mm. now comes and says, I want a picture. I'm like, but I'm, I'm busy. I can't give you a picture. I'm doing my makeup. She's like, we are called Mkogene in Patlazam. I didn't know oh that. Oh my goodness. And I'm just there to end. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh my goodness. I'm like, what? Okay. <laughs> See that reaction I was talking about? Mm. Okay, yeah, I feel like I need I have better clothes. You know, I'm going to keep her. Oh, and then she gets upset and then she pushes me. And you're still that was vulnerable. A fight. It wasn't a fight fight. Yeah, it was just that. And you're still vulnerable physically. Yes, but mentally I was strong. That's wanted, why I wanted to you fight. You wanted to fight. Yes. Bunch <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they did. They did. But I never finished the project. Um, there was actually an article about it. But you know how these people write these things. They always make it in a way as if it was like a real fight. Like I was, mm. it wasn't. So you left the set. There and then. And never came and back. And I went home. And what's painful is we're filming in Foslo. So I was like five minutes away from my house, from home. Mm. I could see home. My siblings are trying to gang up. Like, I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I'm just not doing that project because why are you bringing people that are going to tell me that I'm wearing their clothes? This is not me wearing their clothes. It's the, it's the character. It's the character, yeah. It's not me. I'm gonna and if try I don't want to take a picture, be. I'm busy. I'm trying to be in the moment. Why are you feeling some type of way? Mm. You know, I can take a picture with you during lunch. Mm. So she was just the clothes lady also there. Yes. Who needs cars here and who shows her? Yeah, because how can shows on a kids here? How why man you kids wear trauma? I get it. <laughs> and now he didn't. <laughs> and you didn't get it then? I, I didn't. So would you handle that differently now? Would you take the photo? No. You still wouldn't take. So how would you handle her now telling you shit about her clothes? I just need to place myself in positions where I'm not exposed to that. Because mm. I believe um, if I come here in your space, it's your responsibility to make sure that I'm not exposed to certain things Fair. like that. Mm. You know, because I wouldn't know what's going on and now he's attacking me. I don't know. Mm. But, you know, if I sense that, I am going to walk. Like I am. See how comfortable I am now. Yeah. But if I sense that I'm not comfortable, I am going to walk. Whether you call me a diva or not, but I'm, I'm walking. Do they call you a diva? I was going to ask about the diva thing. Have you been called a diva? I get a, bit, I get a small sense of diva. Mm, they probably have, but not to my face. Oh, they scared of you? 
They should be. They should. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They should be. <laughs> okay. Yeah, not to my face, but they probably have. Mm. But the thing is, if you spend your life worried about what people are calling you, yeah. that's a lot for yeah. me to to put in when I can just choose peace and just live my life and do things that I feel are right at that time because I can't control how you feel about me mm. unfortunately so if True. you feel like I'm a diva or I'm boring they say I'm boring if you say I'm boring then that's fine boring what as a as a person as a person what so, because I don't do the things that they want to do. You don't, do you engage with your co-workers, your colleagues? We do. You're friendly. We do. We do. We don't speak the same language. language. No, I'm at drinks. I'm at drinks. <laughs> I'm at drinks. <laughs> drinks over our hub. That's this time. I kept saying no. I ended up saying, okay, let me go change. Mm. I didn't pick up well, my cross. phone. <laughs> they were mad. They've never asked me again to mm. go hang out with them. It seems like... There's, because, <clears throat> like, uh, my girlfriend, right? I've been dating her for a while, and I've I've heard her speak of three different work environments, and mm. it feels as though people still bring their, like, childhood selves, like, certain aspects of their childhood selves to yeah. the work environment. That's always caught me so off guard. It was hard to still bring, like, a group work and, like... Yes. Friend groups to yeah. work and calling the less so chill and I or connect Zwana Nabo, connect Zwana Nabo, you know, connect at work. They do that. That's so crazy to me. Like that just makes no. They they do that, but that's the thing I was saying. If you if you're not mindful, mm. you won't even realize that you're bringing that unhealed part of yourself to set. Mm. You want a certain validation of being seen with Uste. Hanging out with this girl because she's the lead of the show, even yeah, though you yeah, know yeah. deep down that there's nothing you guys can talk about. <laughs> <laughs> you know it now, Yazi. But it's just like, I just want to be seen with yeah, her. Or... No, not like that. Not like that, but like, um, you know, you know, it's actually, let's just work. If the friendship happens, let it happen organically, you know, don't, don't force it. Don't be like, you need friends. Money's not going to buy you happiness. No, I have Ay, friends. I don't bas want bas you. Bas you. Bas you. Bas <laughs> I do have friends, not you. I don't want you. That's crazy. You know? So in your way back into the industry, were you worried about... Being hot again? I was worried about um, working. I was mm. worried about uh, putting food on the table. Mm. I was worried about surviving. Because not working for that long made me realize that, fudge, I can definitely go back to who I was. And now that I'm here, it means I haven't been practicing in corporate. And in corporate, you need a CV mm. that refers you from the job. Or where you're on. Mm. So I don't have that anymore. You know, so I need to keep going. That was my main concern. I could say, yeah, I need to work. I need to, mm. you know, I need to put food on the table. That's why you was seven and all that. You're born and Jay. 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 And you're born and Jay. 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 Wow. So that was, yeah, that was my concern. So Uketi was what on ETV, ne? No, it was no? on Zanti Magic. Oh yeah. So that was yeah, the ETV one is what? Is now. So what's the sequence, your comeback sequence? And what's the hottest you then become on your return? Which you, your hottest is right now, of course, no? I think it depends how you want to define it. But mm. there was no procedure that I followed besides just going for auditions mm -hmm. you constantly have to go for auditions like you need to go you need and the rejection kind of gets to you sometimes and but you still need to go so I went to as many auditions as I could and luckily enough I found that people were still hungry to see more of me because mm. I did die a bit too soon on the show yeah. so they still wanted and producers and directors wanted to to 
to portray me in a certain way that they see me fit in their heads. I'm going to write this or I'm going to do this. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. they saw me in different lights other than I hostel, which is what I'm grateful for. Let's go. Because I guess they saw diversity in me. Mm. So there was no procedure, basically. I just went for, I started from zero again. Mm. Yeah. You actually do have a very diverse, like it's so easy to yeah. put you in diversity because you can literally just cut your hair and then you look like a completely different girl. I've been wanting to do that. I think I'm just going to wake up and do it, but I'm going to be in trouble at work because this is my image now for what the show that I'm doing. Mm. So from, we didn't say the names of the people who... What? Who were fighting for my hips then? Yes. That production, we didn't say it by name. Mm-hmm. So what did you do after that? I got a... What did I get? But I've been working... As- when did you get to... What was that show where you were having sex a lot? No, the one where I was a sniper. Yeah. Where I was handling guns. Yes. Oh, that was so beautiful. That I was dope, that- actually. The That character. And it? The sniper slash... Yeah. They called me, I'm chilling at home. I just uh, finished filming um, a feature film, an international feature film. So I'm back, I'm feeling good, you know, and then I get a call, I'm painting, you know. I get a call, hi, Lumelo. by a river. At home, actually. I just landed the day before, so I like saying landed. So I just landed. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I just landed the day before, you know, I'm feeling good, I'm paid up, you mm. know, and then I get this call like, hey, yo. We've got a raw offer for you. I'm like, More oh, money cool. On the way. You know, I'm just like, oh, nice. Uh, are you available? Yeah, sure. Can you come to the studio? I'm like, yeah. And then I go to the studio and then they give me a gun. Mm. They give me the costume. They give me a side. They put me on the screen. And that was it. That was it. So you didn't even need to audition for that. Babe Funa Wena. But I'm just wondering. Because you, you can be I can do yeah. yeah, that was that was interesting too. These you people Zulu. are good. You Zulu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's that true. works as a as a reason. Yeah. It does. Gonji, what's that show? We the can wife. say that the wife, yes. yes. The and wife. that was third season? Uh yes. I was on the third season, yes. yes. I was the new wife the on new, the third. Yeah. Yes, on the yeah. third. Kangimba was the new one on the second. There was another girl. Kaimba was, was new girl. on the second. The new girl was new on the first season. No. What? There was the wife on the first wife. Mm. And then there was another. And then there were two more wives. I don't know. I, I, I was just there on the third season. <laughs> <laughs> so the sex, I saw you yes. uh, get away from it earlier. We're back to the sex. Yeah. That was. They, so now you're the sex. They just told you. Usu figi Lucio, we can have this many. And how was that for you? Was that comfortable? Because I don't think you've done anything. And I'll never do it again. Is it? No. Was it uncomfortable? Yes. It was. So when you film um, sex simulations, they make you so comfortable. You've got a, a um, intimacy coach on set. You've mm. got a director. It's a, it's a close set. There's probably like three people with the intimacy coach. So they... You even do like a like exercises before you start touching each other, just so you know, Guti, where you're comfortable, you know, being touched. Is this fine? And so, but for me... Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Okay. At least they try to, you know... Yeah, because that's how it's done in the industry. So mm. I, can't, I can't touch you just like this. You know, in our world, I have to say permission to touch. And you say yes, and then I touch you. Oh, so that's, that's how. Yeah, okay. there's not just touchy, touchy. Also, oh, that's a boundary of sorts. It's like... And it's uncomfortable okay. as much as people watch it and think that, um, oh my gosh, this is so hot. You don't even get a hard on, I believe. Well, I'm not a guy, but like I wasn't even thinking like that because I know there's cameras in the room. I know there's an intimacy coach mm. watching to see are we doing. So it's not as easy as people think it is. You know, it's it's actually work work. Also, is some Buddha someone who you would give it to in real life? Huh? <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a good question. That's not a life. good question. <laughs> How is it a good question? Because that helps with the performance, does it not? No, it doesn't. I, remember, I would I assume it does. If but I'm trying to educate you. I'm, I'm even telling you I about saw, boundaries. I can't share my assumptions. Okay, it's fine. 
I'm We're on a sharing. journey. I just told you I'm not trying to be that girl anymore. You're taking me back. I'm just trying to understand what they were putting you through and what that feels like. Because obviously, well, not obviously, but it's just like, I wonder that. And I know you. And yeah. I'm going to have this conversation with you. So that's one of the things I wonder. It's like, oh. And so then like, obviously that point of, do you even, would you so like even? So like I said, it's very uncomfortable. Mm. For me, at least. So that thought in Jaywayona, I feel what figure. Even the scaling. Of, what scaling? Okay, continue. Let me. No, I want to understand what. Of your. What is your companion? Like scale. The person you're doing it with. You don't even think about that. Is that what you're saying? You're just thinking about the performance. The performance. Because strictly. remember when we do sex scenes, there's a reason we're doing sex scenes. For my character on the show, she used sex. To like as a weapon more yeah. than you know she was using the gun because she knew of herself she knew that she was sexy very sensual you know and she knew she was good in bed so she would use that hence she started sleeping with the other brother you know so mm. that was the story we're trying to portray it's not about oh he's sexy I want to give it to him you yeah. know it's you don't make those choices you're living within that character's brain and feelings and and world mm. Yourself, we are machine lunge lunge in basically. Yeah. So you're not even yourself. You so know? you can't even really feel. You're just you in performance feel, mode you fully. Fully, like you're just there. You know, mm. which is why I was saying, if I'm there and you come and ask for a picture, it's difficult. I'm probably doing a scene where I'm angry. So cool man, I now. Can't it's the scene, and then mm. you think, oh I've my god. I've already gosh. locked into my character. You know, so yeah. people need to be taught more about you know how to approach actors, especially when they're at work in that mm. work setting. Because even on set when we shoot, people are so quiet. Yeah, yeah. They do say quiet on set and they give you a moment to get into the zone. And so you're performing, you're becoming that person. It's so cool. Mm. Like, it's so cool. That's dope. I actually heard uh, people are not allowed to talk to Denzel on set. I could understand that. Yeah. Like, on any set that mm. you want. Like, you're not allowed at all. I could understand. Like, he only performs mm. and when he's not performing... Like leave him alone. I could I could definitely understand that and that's his that's his technique, mm. I guess, you know, because we all have different techniques. My technique is if I'm about to do a really sad scene, I wanna hear J. Cole. <laughs> I w- Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't expect J. Cole from that. Oh my god. Like that build up <laughs> didn't lead to J. Cole to me. No, yeah, I have to hear J. Cole. J. Cole makes yes. you sad. No, it's not a sad feeling, but it just provokes a certain um, place that I know I want my character to go to. Mm. So if I'm going to play Guard Me Up all night, why are you talking to me? I just want to hear J. Cole. Like, please leave me that's alone. That's your go-to song? Yes. That one specifically? Yes. Like that's, and it's been that's for a years. That's song to kind of get in the zone with. It's dope, ne? Yeah, that's Yo, fine. Would you believe me? So it's, it's really dope. So mm. that's, that's my technique. You know, and I, I I prefer people to be quiet. And thank God the, the the production that I'm shooting with, they value that to an extent that you will hear the crew whispering. Like, mm. put the camera there. No, oh, give me that's there. fire. Your yeah, balls, because they understand Dope. how you perform and what you want and how you are best at executing. Why do you have so many messages? And you have uh, so many, yes, messages. I mean... How to portray the role? <laughs> Answer. How? Why? And don't tell if I go silent. Why are you coins aje? Yes. And I hear vibrates. I'm just like if I press it now. Cause why she, bam, no, upfront, but you said I was not upfront with a lot of things. Buga when. Then I accuse of being clever. Me be a projector. You have to step by the phone. We are project. Mm. Yeah. So, but jokes aside, yeah, that's. I could really understand that. Mm. I could really understand. I've worked with actors, even me, myself included. You cry so much, you can't stop crying. Mm. You know, you get home, you're drained, you don't want to talk to anybody. And mm. I'm, I'm grateful for my family because they know, mm. you know, here's your food. Bye, you know, because they, mm. they understand that you're living in a world of that character. 
you know, mm. and it does affect you there and there when you have to come back and be yourself. That's why I always advise actors and performers with the guys whining a good therapy. Mm. You just, just the as scene. a yeah. you were crying escape for somebody who died. You are in that zone, so you need to mourn that person. Um, you know, and just go see somebody, talk about how you feel the grief, and then move on, so you can mm. separate Ulungelo with the character. That's so crazy. There's people who do like different characters in one week. Yes. How do you think they 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 get back into themselves when they have to? Oof. Or do they? Angbazi, yes. Ang angbaz, ang fun kamba manga, angbazi. Like I just said, I would suggest those things. Because guys, why don't you do this? Because I've had to play different characters. Like the show that I'm playing now, Unigiwe, she's basically two characters in one. She's a child, but she's also an adult because she's leading an empire. I sometimes, as a long look, get confused. Uguti, which one am I portraying today? Is it the child or is Oof. it the adult? Is it the CEO or is it the girl that she wants to be? The young and mm. Naya, she's confused. So it feels like I'm playing two characters in one. When, and it's when, hard. When are you able to jump from one to another and back to Lungelo? Um, I'm very in touch with myself. I know myself. I know how to communicate with myself. I know how to bring myself back. So that for me always works. But with the character, it's, it's difficult. It's not difficult. It's challenging. It's one of the most challenging characters because she's going through <coughs> some things, but she's trying to be strong at the same time. And she loses it sometimes. And then now she's trying to regain control. It's like she's fighting. She's constantly in a battle. Having to perform that must be like difficult. Well, it challenging. Is. It <laughs> you is did, challenging. You did change the difficult. Yeah, work. it is challenging. And I, I really believe that my character is depressed. Mm. I really, I really like. You I believe feel it sad. is not scripted. It's not scripted. Oh, so but it's just lingering tell. in the character. I can tell. Yes, because mm. no normal person would behave the way that she's behaving. Wow. I, but she, she's not afforded the opportunity to go heal or grieve in such a brutal way. Mm. You know, she's, she's depressed. And I, she started getting panic attacks. Mm. Sounds like you know her like so personally, which you, you have to know her. She's, yeah, she's, she's like a best friend to me right now. Mm. And I get to represent her. And it's so beautiful that I do it because I get to live her life to the fullest without the fear of being judged. You know, Tina, in our normal lives, and whatnot, but when you portray oh, yeah, yeah, that character, yeah, yeah. you portray it to the fullest because you know that you can't judge this person. She's being true to Be, herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fire. Yeah. That's your, she's, ah, oh, shame. I feel sad for her. Mm. I really do. Where do you guys put these characters when you're done with them? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> look at how well you know Nigi. Like, yeah. where does she go when you're done with her? I'm very good with endings. I'm very... Wow. Even the way you said that is pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. I know how to detach myself. I know when something needs to die. Mm. I know... I, sh I don't know if it's because at some point in my life, my parents moved back to KZN and I found myself staying by myself and it was pretty difficult. So it felt like I was abandoned for some time. So... I know that when something needs to happen, it has to happen and I need to be okay. And So mm. if I'm done with that character, I have to be done. I can't take her along with me. Or mm. I'm now walking in like I'm a sniper, you know, being all sneaky. No, yeah. that's not me. <laughs> that's not that me. That would be so funny. <laughs> you know, so mm. I, I just, I know me now. I do a lot of work to me, for me. Yeah. You know, because I found which is young scissor lesson along the way. Oh, yeah, the meditation, the therapy, the painting. These yeah. are all the things that keep the you reading, to yourself. Yes. The reading. The re reading is very important. Mm. I've read such brand authors about Brianna West. Um, when you're ready, this is how you yeah, heal. Yeah, there's a book you said you'd give me at some point. When I got a present, also a funny book. <laughs> reading. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm reading things that, you know, are helping me along the journey and the type of work that I do. Mm. Yeah. 
That works. That's good. Do you have a favorite production from everything you've worked on? <laughs> it's tough to answer. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. I love all of them. Mm. I love all of them. And I think it's uh, number one. It's staying class because I did a hostella with them. And mm. I did the wife with them too. So, oh, yes, yeah. they did. Oh, that's fire. Because for my first job and the way they treated me on the first job, the way they yeah. were patient with me because I didn't know anything about the mm. industry, they taught me everything that I know today. So, mm. um, yeah, I would say that. Yeah. That's dope. Did they ever have some sort of, um, what is the English word? Some sort of... Uh, entitlement to your success you know sometimes people who put you on yeah to something especially as a fresh face mm. feel like we made you never yes it's thank class by the fresh face mm. i don't know how many new fresh faces they've introduced mm. they give you the platform they will Dope. give you the platform mm. what i also love about them is if they see that you can fit this character they'll call you yeah but i don't think they've been entitled because I've been working hold on to you, like me you know. no because mm. I've been doing other shows with other productions and then they call me back I did a little show in Abu again mm. they called me they're like yo do you want to come through I went and then mm. I, they let me go and I did something else and then they call me for the wife I don't think they have yeah mm. how many shows are you on right now that are airing yeah I'm on Nikki Way mm-hmm Ilinga show and I think it's still airing, but now it's on one six four. You can still watch the wife on Showmax. You can mm -hmm. still watch a hostel on Showmax. You can catch my Netflix movie called Our Love. We actually did so good. We were number four in the country when we dropped. I need to see that. <laughs> Thank you. Still, who did you do that with? Uh, the production. Uh, the leads. So I worked No Fanel. You actually won an award for that movie. Mm. It was so cool. I worked No Fanel Zulu. Okay. Um, we had faces like about DJ Tira coming in because we were doing some sort of like a musical oh, okay, type of okay. show. Yeah. That and I, dope. yeah, we also, I also worked in no Hungani, mm -hmm. Hungani in Lovu, uh, Romeo Scandal. Okay. Yes, yes. yes. Thank so, you yeah. Thank you. For. Hey, last leg. So, yeah, those are the people that I worked with on, on that show. Yeah. That's dope. So number four, Netflix. Imagine. Is that your favorite? What's your favorite peak? Are you have you peaked? Are you still new? I still peaked. doing your thing? I think I got a second chance to build again. So mm -hmm. you can say I'm still new. You can say I'm still, you know, a lot of people don't get a second opportunity to, you know, it's almost like this industry and again now you pick, you pick, and then you're done. And then you're done. Yeah. But for me, it's almost like I've started over again. That's yeah, refreshing. So I don't think I have picked. I have big dreams. Mm. What are those? What, is, what would you I like want, to do? I want to work with Will Smith. Okay. I want to work... Regardless of... We're human. Everything he's been through. We're human. Okay. Imagine that. I'm a lawyer. I'm a spy. I'm a spy. I'm a you know, you That's can't. fair. That's fair. Mm. Uh, yeah, not so you, no, I'm just saying your respect for him hasn't changed at no, all. No, it hasn't. Mm, it okay. really hasn't. That's fine. I would love to do a Marvel film. Especially after the the spam and spying there on the wife. I think that actually, that I, would be fire. I want to see myself transform more than I have been doing. Mm -hmm. You know, I really want that. Even if it means I speak a different language, even if I speak those languages about Kulmagu Vikings, I want to do that. I want to go say, you know, I want to go say Drakaris. I want to live in that world. I want to do Avatar. I want to do. Oh, that's, that's what fire. I want. That's yes. fire. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so. And especially with your indigenous look, I think that would be like. Such a fire. I think you'd pop on something like that. That's dope. Thank you. I'm oh. loud. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new term now. <laughs> I'm I'm personally done with you. What what did I miss? Nothing. Nothing. You don't yeah? miss we're we're here. Don't worry. What is so what what's your future? What does that look like? I'm not done with her? What do you have? Okay. Can I ask I something? Yeah, yeah. Please feel free, yeah. Um that uh, 
Jeff Ma Mafugeng was saying something on the at the Safters about uh, the art being lost or becoming lost. Mm. Um, and you were saying the the agency was tough on you when you first they first saw you. Do yeah. you think that's Im that's important for the industry? For him to be tough, or yeah, what, for, for, for for agencies to be tough on people that should be actor, actors and actresses or should act. I mean, because Babu Jeff was saying uh, they're employing influencers now and not people that can true, act, though. and it's getting it's getting it's getting to be a lost art, like DJ. DJing is a lost art; it's gone. Yeah. So, w do you think it's important for agents to do that? I don't think the I don't think my agent was being difficult or hard on me per se. I think most of us are about to you ought to do things like that so you can see if someone is really dedicated, if someone really wants this for this, or they just know that I'm gonna have like a million followers, I'm gonna be the pretty girl on TV, but why are you there? You know, like so I think I think there's other ways, like there's <sighs> mm -mm. <laughs> I still want to work, guys. I, and, and but all I'm saying is, um, I, I get I get them. I get them and I feel the same. However, uh, I choose to put, see that collar that I had that wouldn't allow me to, I choose to focus on my goals, stay on my lane and mind me and perfect myself and read if I have to read and research if I have to research. If they hire him because he's cute, that's fine. Somebody will look for somebody with talent and they'll hire me, you know. So I like not to be controlling of those narratives. And so I just let it be. Whatever's mine will be mine. It will find me at the perfect time. That's actually a good point because I feel as though every industry is going through that. Because even in, I'm a big boxing guy and there's the whole celebrity boxing thing going on now. All the real boxers keep being asked about, so how do you guys feel about, yeah. you know? And same thing with the music, you know? It's like, oh, now there's people coming and out. It's like overnight and... Also, <sighs> maybe you might want to look at it in a marketing perspective. Mm -hmm. If I get Kim Kardashian to be on my show, you need to understand the fan base that she brings. You need to understand the exposure and the show awareness that she's going to create other than us having to spend so much money on marketing, on PR, on mm. billboards, and, and. So if we have Ustay come into our show um, just for a few lines already, you know, we know the type of influence that he has. So mm. he's going to, you know give our show more awareness and just like fly our show high. So maybe that's that. I guess you have to sacrifice something then. Mm. Exactly, exactly. The so art, maybe... The art suffers, but the brand value goes up. I mean... There's more money coming into the industry. And we live in a numbers world now. True. So people are always chasing what's True. gonna... Yeah, so give there's a lot of... numbers. There's a lot of TikTokers that are acting now. A lot of um, models that are acting. A lot of influencers that are acting um you gotta look at the bigger picture i, I suppose and just also hope we are still gonna hold on to what why we're really doing that like why but if they do it then it's okay no <laughs> Yes. Now you how many jobs do you have? I have one. Right now. Right now I have one. Okay. And I can't even do another one because I'm I'm leading the show. Mm. So it's I'm a principal actor. Oh, and I lead this show and another <laughs> show. <laughs> you I'm know, School I think I. you should wait for an opportunity where we have this because, I mean, our shows are basically um, trying to move with the times as well. So we do mm -hmm. have interviews where a character comes into a podcast and they want to talk about something or like a scandal. Yes. Yeah, boys. and So then... So you already have the script for Spare, so go pitch him that script. That one yeah, works. Yeah, is also an actor. He's a friend. Oh, he just shared some we information. Oh, Vaz. Vaz. Yeah, he just yes. had some information oh, that I needed the at the time. about the production guys. Oh, I didn't mention their names. You did. The ones who gave you 
a hostel. She did say that. Stained glass. But I think yes, say... stained glass. Yes. How much I do see? Put the boy up. Okay, no. Uh, I'll record a monologue we post as one with some number. Ah, that that's where I always suffer. <laughs> <laughs> a monologue Ascale. recording thing. Ascale. feels so weird. Yeah, it's not easy. Auditioning, actually, the idea of auditioning is something I suffer with. It's, today I was number 233. It's not easy. Like, and it's you're really a lead not. on something right on now. So they don't care. That's so crazy. Even when I went to audition for a hostel, I saw people there. I was like, oh. <gasps> They didn't get it. I got it. The nobody. So it's not, it's not easy. People think I'm a long fag. It's really not that easy. So full long fag. When I shall lie, so fine. No, I'm talking. J, please. Yeah, lal. That's fine. Fag if you're full. What? What? <laughs> I didn't say anything. Toast us out of here. <laughs> Me? Are we done? Let's go home. Are you sure? Yes. Vala, vala. We're done, eh? Yeah, yeah. We're done. We yeah. I, I asked for an hour of your day. You can give me more time if you'd like. I'm, you Do know. you have questions? No. More questions? No. I think we have a picture of who you are, what you do, what you're about. Okay. Does it show that? Even I'm your in? Mvana. Yes. Oh, that shows. No, it shined. Thank it shined. You. Oh, okay. It was good. there. <laughs> you can you can take the character off now. No, this is me. Actress. No, this is me. The character if I go put in I saw the real you the outside. When I toast, no must very val. No val and if I am funny val. Very val val. 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 So actually on the way out, did we have this conversation on the record or we had it off the record? Please, I need somebody to to what? No. To it's... confirm this. That's How? the first time I've ever heard this. Oh, it's more Sorry. Oh, Sorry. I've never heard anyone say it that way. Yeah, because we're the originals. Chopping it with Buddha Tsi. What was that? Hour 15? Oh, I'm good. I'm also good. I'm hard. These lights are hard.